have one? Do you like them or do you think they're an absolute menace? Um, I've got one. I like it. Just uh, to make sure that I don't get arrested while I'm live on air or anything, I obviously use it within the confines of the law. Uh, but what do we think to this? Do you like them, Peter? I'm going to start with you. No, I think they should remain banned. People say, should they be banned? They are banned. Uh, and they should remain banned. Uh, they, they are they're powerful motor vehicles. Uh, if it's very easy to get rid of the speed governors that have fitted to them, and, and you can do 40 miles an hour on them. And there are existing models which can do 70. Uh, they are the ideal tool for the mugger, uh, for the drug dealer, uh, and for the totally selfish person who wants to ride fast along the pavement, uh, knocking people down. I, we've had a, a, a tragic death associated with them now. We've had many injuries, including injuries to small children already, uh, even while they've been semi-legal in some areas, thanks to Grant Shapps' ridiculous scheme where they, you're allowed to use them if you rent them uh, from specified schemes, but not allowed to use them if you buy them privately. But I see them all the time, and they, the numbers of them intensify. Uh, you can't hear them. Uh, they, they, they are, they're dangerous to their own riders because they're so fantastically unstable with the small wheels. You hit a pothole, uh, you'll go flying. Uh, they're notorious, particularly, and I would warn you of this if you're, if you're using them for grave liver injuries because the height of the handlebars will get you in the liver if you have an accident on them. Uh, and if, if they become uh, fully legal, as Grant Shapps intends, people will be amazed at how many of them there are. This is all known. Paris had a so-called experiment with, uh, with these scooters two or three years ago. People were injured, including very tragically uh, an extremely talented concert pianist who, whose arm was smashed as a result of these things careering along the pavement. Once they are legal, you will never be safe on the pavements or on a footpath again for the rest of your life, nor will your children, nor will your elderly relatives, nor especially will blind and deaf people be. It is the most stupid decision. And I am amazed that Grant Chaps has taken it. And I, I, I tried as hard as I could uh, to get some sort of uh, campaign going against it. And everybody says, why are you bothered about this stupid, trivial, minor thing? Well, to which I reply, you wait till they're everywhere and tell me it's stupid, trivial and minor. Mm. I've got to be honest, you've not put me off mine, though, Peter. I listened intently, but I'm still thinking well, what is it? Great. What is it that's good about them? Convenience. Speed. What, 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 get me from A at, to B at, at in an effective... Of, at the expense of other people. But no, because I drive it as a responsible individual. I don't go around, I don't pay pinball with pedestrians trying to no, score if, points if you're as on I the road, go. You're not safe. You're, 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 in, you're, you're, you're taking a very grave risk with yourself, and you, you, you're then quite likely to end up in an ambulance and in any and in hospital. Uh, well, if I do, if I, if I fall off my e-scooter... They're dangerous to ride, as well as for, the, for, their, for their riders, as well as they are dangerous to pedestrians. Jacqueline, are you a fan? Do you think it should be outlawed? Well, it's, they're not just a nightmare on the pavements, as, as Peter has said. They're an absolute nightmare when they're on the roads mm. because um, I actually drive. OK, you may not see them in the countryside, but if you're around the cities, you know, if it's not bad enough with the cyclists jumping the lights every five minutes or five seconds, which they do frequently, certainly in London and, and other cities, the e-scooters are doing the same. You also can barely see them because a lot of people have them. They seem to be all painted black. They don't seem to have a light on them at all. They do have a light and, on. Uh, well, the people, the ones, a lot of them I've seen haven't got a light on, Tiny unfortunately. Pinball. And um, and they can do, as quite rightly has been said, you know, they may have limiters on them, but people are actually uh, overriding the limiters, I'm quite sure.